Hi, so to test out the reef lower, I've decided to take it to a mate of mine uh, who has a company up at Mount Karingai called Keen Electronics. So here we are, and here's Keen. G'day. Hi Keen, how are you going? Good. Uh, so tell me a bit about yourself and your company. Okay, so I originally started off in electronics when I was a teenager. I uh, went into electrical engineering, but ended up in the software industry for many years. So back in 2008, I started consulting independently as a bit of a mixture of doing IT and embedded systems. So I now do a lot of consulting on embedded systems, everything from designing circuits to writing firmware, Internet of Things, uh, do a lot of stuff with LED lighting, um, animal tracking and you know using whatever suitable so I've got a background in Unix and Linux and Windows support iPhone development and web development and whatever people need to integrate different systems together so I can uh, this is pretty much what uh, La France has given me um, it's given me the box um, and the temperature probe uh, a couple of PCBs to try out of course a scraper you know all the usual things that you need for Okay, so solid. it's a little LED blinker board or something? Uh, correct, yep. Yeah. Right. These are supposed to hold the board somehow. I think they kind of go like yeah. that, but the it's idea is to try and try and hold the PCB down so it, it's not bowing. Correct, yeah. But some larger boards going to have more bow in them. Yeah, so he's given a slot so I can sort yep. of adjust it. We've got a small stencil for this board and we've got paste and we've got a scraper. You've got a handy dandy uh, power meter, so what we're going to do is just measure the, the power consumption of this, this device. Right, so we'll, we'll whack this on um, and see just how much uh, it draws. Actually, before we do that, um, do you want to crack it open, Keen? Oh, definitely. Okay. Let's get out the oh, screwdriver. Let's, let's just shift all this stuff. It looks like it's uh, mostly riveted together. Yeah, it's, um, there's rivets on there, uh, rivets there. There's a couple of screws there. Big, Big major screw, screw there. Oh, hang on. We've got a small screwdriver. Yeah, that's all right. This one's actually working. They're only uh, loosely put in, so it's fine. Holds everything. Temperature sensor. Yeah, okay. Okay. Is that spring loaded? Yeah, I think you need to undo that big screw yeah. at the bottom. It all suddenly falls apart. It was intentional. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. Now, so that's sort what of comes apart it. now. Yeah. Is that? It's not styrofoam. Asbestos? Yeah, it's. <laughs> okay. It's, it's something. Me it's a. Okay. Modern form of yeah. similar stuff. Okay, so what have we got in here? Yeah, I said DC converter. Uh, we've got the temperature probe, uh, fuses, it's nice fuse. to see. It's um, very um, kind of squished up in there, isn't it? Yeah, sort of squished up. You've got the, this is the wireless module. Okay, so it sticks outside, outside. the metal box to get the yeah. antenna. I think all the real parts are probably underneath that board. And it's all been uh, pop riveted in. We can drill Take it out. Take care of that, yeah. yeah. And can re pop it. Shall we actually see if it works first um, and then we'll drill it out and actually have a look yeah. at it? Yeah, so once, he's once got his, his heater element connections there. Yep. Which will presumably be running off AC and then that's the thermocouple on there. And what's this ribbon cable going to? That's actually going to the LED. Oh, oh the button. The button, the LED, LED and, and the, the external yeah, temperature sensor. Let's chuck it back in again. I mean, it's, it's a fairly well constructed unit, I guess. Yeah, well, uh, like, like most modern things, everything's in the software, so. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a few quirks, like, um, yeah, if you're pulling it apart, then this cable doesn't really go in properly. I just spotted he's got cage nuts in the side, you know, from rack mount cage nuts. Well, look, if it works, I guess. It, it does. Works. Yeah, that's quite tricky getting that back in again. Let's. I'm, I'm still actually nervous about plugging something in. Before I plug something in, uh, like it's... I have multimeters everywhere here. Yeah, I um, figured you do. I just wanted to just measure to make sure we, there's no sort of... The case isn't live. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, so just, just do it. straight old buzz meter or an iron meter. Iron meter if you want to do it, whatever, whichever one. Let's see whether it's actually earthed. Yep. It is okay. earthed. Nice. So, and is that top bit earthed? It is. Nice. So that's earthed. And not going to be connected to them. So yeah, good, good. the fact that it's earth means you're pretty safe. Yeah. Even if it goes bad, take out all my servers. <laughs> Blows the fuse. Okay, so the first thing that's happened is that the blue lights sort of blinking 
the red light came on. Uh, I won't press this button because it's a button that actually Makes starts it all off. Um, now the whole idea with this, the app that he's got, is that you can set the temperature profiles. Uh, we'll get this app loaded on, on your Android device, see whether your Android device can actually query uh, the, the reflower. Okay, so I'd suggest maybe if we get, um, this asbestos is everywhere isn't it? <laughs> I bet it is on asbestos. Um, so I suggest maybe if we get some tape and whack it down, yep, good idea. Uh, just on the edges. Just to hold the PCB down. So if you're doing production level, you really want to set up a, a jig to hold it. So if you try and put it down where it should be. And then, yeah, it's, I think without a syringe, it's going to be really hard, but just wanted to get that nice even. Ideally, you should only do it one pass, but Yep, I haven't got those last few pads. I'm not sure those last ones are done, but there we go. I think that's okay. Okay. Try and lift it off straight up. We're not doing fine pitch, so it doesn't really matter too much. So it looks pretty good. Yeah, considering I wasn't really able to see the angle I was looking at, so. Yeah, that's quite good. Yep. So it's uh, nice, nicely on those pads. Cool. All right. Uh, tweezers. Tweezers. Okay, so this is the uh, really precise bit. This is uh, something that you really need uh, a magnifying <laughs> lamp magnifying or something. Lamp. Yeah, that's right. I think uh, the instructions probably they uh, seem to have. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's got the parts. Two AO6s, which is a small MOSFET, I think. 100 nanofarad. And something, and something, and something, and something. I need my glasses. This one. Okay, that's the place one. So I've gone through and figured out which is which. And we've got all the components, I think, don't we? These are chunky tweezers compared to what I'm used to using. I'm going to have to speed this bit up. I'm just guessing those transistors go there. Yep. Hang up. Yeah, these, these tweezers are huge. Yep. Let me oh. grab a different pair of tweezers. They're quite massive and they're not, not only that, they're, um, there's a bit of burring on the end. Yeah. So it's, and it's rounded as well, so it's um, not the world's best. Okay, so I've placed those two LEDs. Some 10 microfarad capacitors. Uh -huh. Now that we've got everything placed, uh, let's chuck it on. Okay, so let's find the app. Yeah, so we went to that uh, download link from his website. And so it's not actually in the app store, is it? Uh, it's in that special test right. part of the app store. So you have to sign up to be a tester and then you can access it. Okay. Yeah, excellent. All right. Okay, so we're going to have to now connect to the Wi Fi of All right. so let's, the roof wire. Um, so plug him in. Switch it around. Okay, so now it's connected. Okay. All right. <coughs> so now if we fire up the app, connecting. Connecting. For a proper operation, you should, you should perform a firmware. Let's do a firmware. Okay, let's do a firmware. So, I'm guessing, yep, so on the menu there's a firmware upgrade option, so we'll do that. Okay, alright so. then. So, let's, just for safety, let's take this off in case it yep. starts to power up. Pull the power. You need to hold this button down. I'll give it a couple of seconds. What, what are the lights flashing? Release it. It's not hot, that's good. Okay, okay. so it looks like it's connected yep. now. Alright, let's just try that. Firmware upgrade option. It's saying something about erasing down the bottom here. Yeah, it's sort of a bit hard, a bit hard to read because it's yeah. overlaid over the other text. It is an alpha app after all. Yep. Oh, I can hear a fan going on. So we've got all this funny text there now, so I might actually quit the app and start it again. Okay. okay. So we've got a profile there, so we can drop down and choose what our profile we want to use yeah. is. So let's go for a middle one. Yep. So this overlay text could be because this is quite a small, this is only a three and a half inch mm -hmm. Android device. Do you have a thermal camera? I do. Excellent. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, just while we were getting that thermal camera, it seems to be, seems to have started up. Do you want to just whack the thermal camera on and see what we've got? So it's showing 56 degrees, 59. So it's heating up even though we haven't actually specifically started the profile. I think when you choose the profile, it starts immediately. I suspect that's probably what it is. Okay, yes. 
So I wasn't expecting it to start until I actually hit yeah. the start. Okay. All right, so that's a, a trap for young players there. Yes. Um, so what's the temperature we've got there? We're okay. just hitting 66 degrees, and it is actually showing on the Android screen as well. Uh, it is 150 in this step. Yeah. Um, I measure the PCB at 87, 90 degrees at the moment. The problem with metal plate is the emissivity of metal. Mm -hmm. You can't actually point a thermal camera at it. That's right, yeah. So we won't actually see the real temperature of that plate. What we can do is we can stick some of this um, masking tape down on it. Yep. So let's do that without burning ourselves. Ow, that is hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now, yes, so that plate is consistent with the temperature we'd expect. Android screen showing 126 and the thermal camera is saying 128. So there's a bit of a lag in temperature. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's within a degree. Now let's look at the, uh, see what sort of output we're getting on this uh, power meter, two amps. What's the power factor? Uh, Should be pretty good. Yeah, can't read it. Power factor, yeah, 0.313. Oh, that's not good. 0.5 peak down to 0.1 power so, factor. I don't know what the heater element uses this. Yeah. I'm guessing it's a PTC or something. So what are we up to on the, uh, the profile? So 160 degrees, going to the Android, 154 on the thermal camera. I'm not sure what the green line is meant to indicate. Progress, maybe? And the dark, thick blue line is indicating where it's up to. So it's now on the first plateau. It's ramped up to at 150. So I'm guessing that where it says target, that's the target for this soak phase. Seems to have dropped down just slightly there. So is the temperature right? Yeah, still still sitting around 150. It's kind of the max temperature on the thermal camera is now showing about 160. You can smell the heat. First time it gets used, I guess. We've got a power factor of uh, 0.6 peak now. So yeah. we're almost at our target temperature. So we should yeah, <coughs> we can see nice molten solder on there now. And it doesn't look like anything's tombstoned. Oh yeah, I can, yep. feel, I can feel the heat now. Yep, two, yeah, 220 nice. plus or minus a couple of degrees, which is what it's supposed to be. Seems to have solid quite nicely. So it'll be interesting to see how the uh, he handles the ramp down. Yep. Because it's always a bit of a tricky Well, that's, he's got the fan in there, so he can yep. theoretically control the ramp. Oh, the ramping down is ooh, it's getting me. It's ramping down a bit too slowly, yeah. but that's fine. That really is not as critical. No. You just don't want to be bumping it while it's still warm. See, I actually prefer like a hot plate reflow, so I'm actually tempted to buy one of these now. Yeah. The bigger one, probably. Does he have bigger ones? Yeah, he's got one that's about twice the size. Okay. I think um, it does the job. It does. It's um, the app a bit is, of a safety hazard. The app is still in alpha. <laughs> but um, There's no protection. You don't want to have yeah, this operating that's, that's around true. any children or pets. Yeah, true. But I think the assumption is that if you're dealing with SMD components, you're a sufficiently advanced maker to um, <laughs> to know the sure. issues. Yeah. I've seen much, much, much worse than this, <laughs> really. Yes. Um, and it's a really neat package. He's, he's followed the metal well, I think, for what it is. I think it's a fairly professional job. It's just a little bit slow on this... Um, Ramp down. Ramp down. It may be able to improve the... Um, I think that's because the fan can't blow much air through. It's a trade-off between having the insulation keeping it warm <laughs> and being able to ramp that down. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, okay. Let's solder the battery on. Okay, so the question is, does it work? Oh, look at that. Nice, a little blinky board. I presume it's meant to blink that fast. Yeah. Maybe it's having a bit of a heart attack. So, ah, success. Nice. So, what do you reckon? I reckon it's pretty good. I want to pull it apart and just have a look at that wiring inside. I think we need to do all four. I suspect so. Okay, so the side panel comes off. Oh, look at that. That's the earth wire or something there. That earth wire there. It's, I guess it's acceptable, but I would have expected to see a nice big lump of copper there. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, 
So there's quite a bit on there. He does like his rivets. He does like his rivets. I don't know, there's enough trace there for power. For power. So there's um, a there's enough separation. Although this is pretty close, isn't it? It's particularly close. I don't like this. Not if it's well. But it's I mean, it's, it's sufficient. Um, I'm wondering if he's relying on this bit of metal. Yeah, so he's pushed the wires the wire through. So, so he's riveted it. the wire in place. Yeah. So that's reasonable. So that's reasonable. But yeah. then it's relying on the rivets holding that to the main yeah, the rest would, of the case. I would have preferred to have a lug there. Yeah. Send a lug there. You know. Yeah, a proper crimped one. Yeah. He's really squeezed things in a bit. I, you can't get at that fuse to I, replace the fuse either. He's got proper separation from AC to all the yep. DC side. And there's things. an oxo-isolator on the yep. thing there. So that's well designed. So what's the it's main microcontroller on there? Can you tell what it is? It's a sand-off job. It's a sand-off job. <laughs> I hate that. I yeah. thought only China did that. No, it's not sanded. It's just really badly labelled. A drop of isopropanol on it. Yeah, that'll do. It often gives enough contrast. At Mega, I it's a that. microchip, 64 GPL 036, which sounds like a PIC32, I'm guessing. And in addition to that, he's got MCP 6L02E. Uh, it's an op amp. That's an op amp, okay. And the other one is a 24LC64E, so that's an EEPROM. Triple one seven regulator, 3.3 volts. Yep. Because I think that that output's probably five volts. Yeah. Five volts. And so he's got a 3.3 volt big linear regulator. So he's using an op, using a couple of op amps for the thermocouple, I guess, rather than the dedicated cold compensation thermocouple. Yeah, and then the EST A266 does the rest of the work. But the connector, he's really squeezed things together a little bit, like the bodgy connectors yeah. coming off at angles. And I think he's really tried to make it as small too as possible. compact. Yeah, I mean, there's there's actually plenty of space in here. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be so, fast, yeah, apart from the fact that there's no way you can probably get that fuse cover off to replace the fuse. You'd have to cut it off because of that earth pin. Yeah, and also, pop riveting into plastic is always a bit dodgy. Can crack it. Yeah, yeah it has actually can, cracked. You can it. see it's, it's cracked. It cracked there on some other places. So. But all that said, I don't think it's too bad. Yeah, I think uh, if he went started to go into production runs of this like proper production runs should look at improving things a bit more yep. like this is dodgy having it like this yep it does a job doesn't it, it does yeah so um, i'm not quite i haven't traced the ac signals so i'm not quite clear whether that's safe the way he's got it but it doesn't look incredibly bad or anything i've seen a lot worse i like the separation yeah he's, he's got a, a, he's got a good separation there with the going right through the middle of the yeah, optocoupler so bad points what do you think about the bad points? Um, he was quite slow to deliver. Well, I think there's people still complaining he hasn't delivered them mm -hmm. um, from the Indiegogo campaign. The Android app definitely needs work, but that's yeah. fine. I understand that. It did do the job. Probably wouldn't have run the thermocouple input through the ribbon cable. Yeah, and also some of these cables are probably going to disrupt, right, it'll disrupt the, the air. Fan. Or yeah. So what do you reckon, Keen? What do you reckon that's... Oh, I'm is. reasonably impressed with it. The assembly needs to work because it's very fiddly the way it's been assembled and a little bit shoddy in a couple of places. Electrical safety seems reasonably fine. Obviously, being a hot plate, you've got a safety issue there. But other than that, um, I think it's quite well designed and got a reasonably powerful CPU in it for, for what it's doing. Mm, Could have yeah. done it with a much, much lower end microcontroller. Yeah. So yeah, I, I give it a, a, a kind of a a score? reasonable thumb up, thumbs up. Yeah. Not a not so, a full thumbs up, but a reasonable. So what about a score out of uh, five? Score out of five. Uh, yeah. It doesn't get a five. Yeah. Uh, I think um, a bit of three and a half. Yeah. 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 It did its job. Followed the temperature profile pretty well, apart from mm. the ramp down. One of my concerns is the production. The way he's put it together is the production may cause some issues on some units. I think generally the people who are buying these are capable of fixing, fixing those things up. Yeah. But of course it's main powered, so you yeah. need to be reasonably careful. Because of the riveting, it's not really made for repair. I think that's one area that he could improve. The circuit board is just too tight to get it things to repair them. Mm. And you have to drill out the rivets, which is yeah. not great. Cool. cool. All right, thanks very much, Ken. Pleasure.